So we have a bunch of Christmas books in a bin in my house that we bring out every year for Christmas. And honestly, I don't know why we still do it. None of us ever read them. I haven't looked at these books since I was really young. So I decided to look at some of them and see what's going on. So I got this book of Twas the Night Before Christmas. And like, I'm sorry, but this, this artwork is, is terrifying. Haddon Sundblom, dude, like you, my friend. I thought my Santa was creepy Santa. You, my friend, you, you've you made the real creepy Santa, okay? Like, I've seen creepy Santa, but this, this is creepier Santa. This potentially is creepiest Santa. Someone saw this image and thought that, like, yeah, that's good. Draw that, buddy. Publish that. Horrifying. A absolutely horrifying. I was honestly really excited to see Race Team Mater get suggested for 25 days this year. While this isn't an item I think about much nowadays, back when I was younger, this mater meant a whole lot to me. You see, when I was very young, the tow hook on my original mater broke off, and for years I was upset that I didn't have a regular mater. But when Cars 2 came out, I picked up Zen Master, a character that I really wanted to get, and he came in a two-pack with Race Team Mater. You see, I didn't really care for the Race Team variants because they're basically the same as the regular variants of the character, but with the 95 stickers on the side. And when you're a kid and can only get so many variants of the characters, you know, you can only get so many items when you're a little kid. You gotta pick and choose which cars you wanna get. When I was young, I didn't really care for the race team variants, but I really wanted Zen Master. So I picked up the two pack and got race team Mater because of course he was the other car in the two pack. And while I didn't really care for race team Mater at first, I quickly realized that, hey, wait a minute. This is basically a regular Mater. Yeah, it's got the 95 logos on the side, but it has a functioning tow hook. And from that moment on, Race Team Mater became my go-to Mater when I was playing with my cars as a kid. In 2017, when I got back into cars collecting when Cars 3 came out, I quickly bought a new regular 2017 Mater, which I still have in my collection to this day. And don't worry, he's still in one piece. My original Mater, the one that the tow hook broke off of all those years ago, has since broken into about three more pieces. Um, so that's that's a little unfortunate. But yeah, Race Team Mater was a car that meant a whole lot to me as a kid because I used it as my main Mater playing with my cars for many, many years. The first ever Cars videos I filmed back several years before I started my channel featured this as the main Mater. So it means a lot to me, although nowadays I barely ever acknowledge it and it just kind of sits on my table. I'm really excited that I can review it because it lets me take another look at a car that is now overlooked by me, but used to be very important. Anyway, guys, welcome back to another review and to day two of 25 Days of Suggestions 2025. 2025. No, Ty, stop time traveling, buddy. It's, it's 2024. 25 days of suggestions, 2024, day two. Jeez. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Race Team Mater, suggested by Victor Escobedo. Thank you so much for the suggestion. As always, if you would like to suggest cars for 25 days of suggestions, the suggestions are still open until December 5th. I'll be closing them on December 5th. If you'd like to suggest a car, please check out the video I recently posted going over the rules for 25 days this year before you leave your suggestion. Still have a couple of days to do it as of the posting of this video. Now, before we take a look at Mater here, we of course have to open up today in the Cars Advent Calendar. Let's see, where's day two? Yesterday we got McQueen, of course. I assume today, yeah, we're probably gonna start with our first piece of track, right? Or maybe this is a building, I don't know. It, please don't tell me this is just gonna be the same order as last year. Uh, if it is, then at the very least, um, I don't really remember the order last year, but I think we're gonna get our first building, which is probably gonna be the courthouse, right? If I'm remembering correctly from last year, they would give you the building, yep, give you the building before the uh, the track. And yeah, there we have it. Easily one of my biggest problems with this year's advent calendar. It's almost completely reused from last year's in terms of the track and the pieces and all that. They reused the pieces in the 2021 and 2022 advent calendars, but at least they were nice enough to recolor them to be all candy themed. Uh, for 2022. This time around, I believe we have the exact same accessory for the courthouse as the one we have last year. It even has the exact same typo where it says Town of Radiator Spring instead of Radiator Springs. Awful. Insane. That's, that's ridiculous. 
actually, I mean, I don't really remember the, the wreath on it last year. Was there a wreath on it last year? I think there probably was. Okay, so I just checked my videos from last year, and believe it or not, this is actually a new sticker. I completely forgot that last year's Radiator Springs buildings didn't have any holiday decorations on them for some reason, so they added that in this year. That's a point towards you, Advent Calendar. A very, very small point, but I think that honestly makes me like this year's buildings better, because they actually have the holiday theming. It looks like they just slapped this decal over the pre-existing one in Photoshop and called it a day. Didn't even fix that typo, but uh, hey, at least it's something different, right? I'm sorry, I didn't realize that before. That's honestly pretty nice. Not as big or different as I would hope it would be. Ideally, I would like to have seen them use different buildings this year, but uh, hey, I'll take what I can get, I guess. Anyway, moving on to Race Team Mater, this Mater is honestly a pretty significant one in the history of Mater diecasts, because it was really one of the first ones to use this sort of color scheme for Mater. You know, 2010 and 2011 made some big changes to the Mater diecast, making him look a bit less like this, and more like what we know him to look like nowadays. This Mater, of course, has an exclusive expression with a closed mouth grin, which I believe remains exclusive to this Mater still to this day. He's got all the typical details you'd expect from the character, the one functioning light and the one broken light, exposed engine there, one broken headlight up top, and of course, the most exclusive thing about this Mater is the 95 sticker on the side. This was really in a lot of promotion for Cars 2, at least in terms of the diecast line. This was like the main new Mater they were pushing in Cars 2 diecasts and multi-packs and stuff because, well, I mean, it was a Cars 2 Mater, right? At that time, when Cars 2 was coming out, they weren't re-releasing items from the first movie. Like, when Cars 3 came out, if you wanted a Mater, you could just get original Mater. When Cars 2 came out, that wasn't in the question. Forget the fact that Mater rips off the 95 sticker before literally all of the spy stuff in the movie happens to him. No, we we just have we have this Mater in every Cars 2 themed pack regarding Mater. This was the go-to Mater for Cars 2. It was new, it was different, and sometimes its inclusion didn't make sense. Of course, this was also one of the first Maters to normalize the back wheels being the correct color on the original Mater. They were all just brown, but this Mater, of course, made this wheel yellow and this wheel blue, something that started in 2010 and carried over into 2011 with Cars 2 before being adopted by regular Mater in 2013, when he got not only the correct wheel colors, but also a color scheme closer to this one. On the back, we of course have the A113 license plate there, as well as the sticker with the caution stripes and all that, and his tow hook, which is present. There it is. It's there. It's functional. It's 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 present. Good job, me, for not breaking it. I don't even know how the tow hook on my original Mater broke. I just remember it always being broken. Unfortunately, you can see quite a bit of wear and tear on the corners of the caution stripe sticker on the back, something you see on a lot of Maters at this time, because it is just a decal printed on to a plastic piece. Of course, Mater's truck bed was plastic at this time. Finally, there is a look at the base. Always really happy to review an item like this, one that means a whole lot to me, but I don't think of much nowadays. Race Team Mater, you certainly are a Mater I had as a kid. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you again to Victor Escobedo for the suggestion. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.